What's going on, buddy? They were kind of just sitting here. Radar gun, that fugitive right there, 78. Everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of LSP4. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. Uh, I finally got a day to do some recording <laughs> where I wasn't working or busy or not have any power because God's relocating the Atlantic Ocean right now. So <laughs> here we go. We're going to be out here in the county today. We're going to be using um, this 2014 Chevy Tahoe. This one is by I'm going to butcher the name, Torres, 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 something like that. I'll link it in the description. Uh, I converted it to all blue, which I will show you right here. We'll go ahead and move it out of the way so that you guys can see the light. So stage one is just some uh, blue and yellow in the back. Stage two. is uh, some more blue all the way around it and a slower pattern. And then stage three is everything. Now there's actually a lot more lights on here than I actually like. Uh, I'm not a fan of Christmas trees. Uh, but these are done really nice. Uh, the skin is still based off Jefferson County, Alabama. Uh, I'll be releasing all these on my Discord at some point in time here in the near future as this is likely going to be the last episode using them as it's, I'm going to be switching out the sheriff's cars and changing some stuff up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you're not in my Discord, you can join it. The link is in the description. It should be a never expiring link. However, I do make mistakes. I took the uh, steering wheel mod out for this one uh, just because I didn't want the stuff down there. And um, I'm glad that you guys have been patient and with the uh, work videos. Uh, I spend a lot of time doing installs at work, so I figured why not film them and share it. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, 1637, you can show me 1041, 10, 8 available. Uh, there's not a lot of recognition, I guess you could say. I don't want to say, maybe not recognition. Maybe recognition is the wrong word to uh, be looking for, but there's not a lot of insight into uh, the career that I'm in. It's a very specialized industry, and there's not a lot of... Um, not a lot of recognition I guess you could say recognition but there's not a lot of insight there's not a lot of yeah there's not a lot of recognition in it it's more of a uh, quiet line of work so you don't hear or see of it a lot oh shit I just pulled out in front of that motorcycle that's my bad dude it's probably very upset with me so I would put a little spotlight on it film it and it's just different those videos take a while to edit but, so hopefully you guys aren't too mad about it. Some of you seem to really enjoy it. I've gotten some pretty good ideas. Uh, some of them I have already implemented. So, we installed a Waffle House yesterday. We did, we did it in four and a half hours. Uh, I didn't film that one. Boss was with me. He helped on that one. So, I'm going to continue to film them. Attention all units. We have a disturbance. In Backlot City. 1637, you can show me now. We have received a call from the movie studio that an individual is refusing to leave. Please respond and assist. Four and a half miles? Where the hell is that at? Okay. Alright, so we're headed to the county, I guess. Or the city. Let's get these guys out of our way. It's not really a uh, code three response kind of call.
So, but yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying the work videos. I know they don't get a lot of views because it's not, you know, the normal gaming kind of stuff that I do on here. And I know that, so it doesn't, it don't hurt my feelings that there's not a lot of views on them. You know, it's, a lot of people aren't interested in that kind of thing. Most of you guys are here for gaming videos. And, and I'll continue to do gaming videos, as you can see by this one. But I do spend over half my my life doing that, so... So while we head to the city, I'll answer a few of the common questions I get. Uh, the siren, the common question I get. Uh, it is the Sincom Sapphire Siren uh, with the CHP air horn. Um, I can't stand the CHP Siren. I think it's the sound of Satan. You guys know that. Uh, however, the air horn is fucking phenomenal. I love the air horn that they use. So I... I took out the Sincom air horn and put the, that one in here as it's a better air, air horn. Uh, the Sincom Sapphire Siren that I'm using is linked in the description. It's by Baxter. I think it's by Baxter. It's either Baxter or, Wayla, or uh, Caden. I'm pretty sure it's Baxter though. Uh, another one is my visuals. I'm using Natural Vision Remastered um, with a custom visual settings on top that I cannot distribute because it was uh, sent to me by someone uh, that I don't know that he wants it redistributed. Uh, but then I also have uh, Reshade. There is no E and B. However, I do use Reshade and I linked the Reshade down below. Uh, but there's a lot of settings in the Reshade that are um, custom that I've custom edited not custom edited but just played with in the reshade I and I or in the uh, in-game file and if I remember I'll bring that up on screen later so that you guys can see it I get a lot of questions about my lights and how I do it I'm still trying to figure out why we're going to the city in the last episode uh, they called a city unit out to the county, and this time they're calling a county unit into the city, so. It's always that one guy that doesn't listen. The guy refusing to leave the movie theater. Uh, I'm using LA Roads. Uh, I had LA billboards in. I'm not sure if I put them back in or not. Uh, you can tell by the uh, Hollywood sign. Uh, I do have a lot of custom buildings and stuff in. You can install them easily. If you download the LA uh, billboards mod, there's another mod in there called uh, uh, Extra Mod. Any building files that you want, you just drop them in there. And it changes your buildings. It's really easy to do. Uh, it's a DLC add-on. Uh, so you just drop it in there. And it puts custom buildings. Like I have um, a Burger King. Your car is the shit. Thank you. Uh, like, I have a Burger King up in uh, Vinewood, so it's really cool to do that. Trying to clear the intersections. That car's got red underglow, which is illegal. I'm not here for that. Sixteen thirty seven. Show me 23 on scene. Thank you! Said fuck you. Okay. Hey, my man, you gonna let me in? I have the same problem in 5M. Fine, I'll break it. Alright. Alright, let's see what's going on. 
and why the, the city can't do it. What's going on, buddy? Thank you for coming, officer. This individual was caught sneaking around the property during a video shoot. They are refusing to leave. Okay. No, that's not true at all, officer. I was told it was fine for me to be here as long as I didn't get in the way. We have informed you multiple times, ma'am, that you need to leave the property, and you have refused to do so. Unfortunately, since you... All right, ma'am, so unfortunately, since you failed to leave, I'll have to, you know, take you into custody, okay? So go ahead and turn around for me. Wait up! You're under arrest, you piece of crap! All right, right now you're just being detained for trespassing, okay? We're just gonna walk you over here to my car, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of everything here in just a minute. All right, let's put you right here in front of the camera. All right, go ahead and release you. All right, do you have anything on you that might stick me, poke me, stab me, make me bleed me mad? You don't have anything illegal on you? Nothing illegal, okay. All right, I'm gonna pat you down, okay? A Keltec P11 with a scratch serial number, a wallet, a picture of a subject known as Russian gangsters. Alright, so what she's wearing, she would never be able to conceal a weapon like that, so I'm not going to charge her with that. But we did find an ID on her, Jessica Smith. Um, some of those... Let me radio that in 1637. I get a 27, check on a Jessica Smith. Common spelling, date of birth, maybe 12, 8 of 74. Uh, I'm not... She didn't have a weapon. There's nowhere for her to hide that. Some of those are just dumb. Uh, her license is expired, but no active warrants. So, all right, Jessica, let's uh, let's walk over here and have a seat in the back of my truck for me. All right, just stand right there by the rear bumper for me, and go ahead and have a seat. All right. No. Nope. Somebody said in the comments of the last video that if you push the G key, you can ask some questions while in the vehicle. Yep. Let me, uh... We'll just turn off the lights. We don't need this for now. So let's uh, question her while we do this. Alright, so are you going to be willing to answer questions for me? You're not really sure? Okay. There are so many questions in this thing, it's ridiculous. All right, let's uh, open up the computer. Uh, we already ran her information, but we'll check it. Uh, so she's been arrested for a warrant in the past, and she's received citations for driving without a license and safety belt violation. All right. <sighs> so... I'm going to create a citation, and I added warrant. Uh, I did go into the INI and add warrant in here. Uh, it won't be in this one, though, or will it? I don't think it will. No. Uh, but I am going to see if I can. Uh, right there. Uh, she's going to get. All right, so what I'm going to do today is. She's going to get arrested via citation, uh, so I will drive her off the property and then hand her a citation. Uh, it is technically an arrest, however, she won't be going to jail for it. She'll have to appear before the court for it. If she doesn't, then she will uh, have a warrant put out for her, and then she will be arrested. But instead of actually taking her to jail right now, uh, she's just going to get the uh, trespassing citation slash arrest. So that's all I'm going to do with that. So she's getting a notice to appear. Uh, we will 
drive her off. And I forgot to stop the time. It's not supposed to be dark. Alright, so we will take her off the property. And then release her somewhere else. Sixteen thirty seven radio. You show me uh, code six still removing the person from the uh, property. So we'll take her down here and then release her with a uh, notice to appear. We'll take her to the coffee shop. Get her out. No, that's not quite what I want. Okay. Cool. Come on. There we go. Alright. We'll grab her. We're going to take her over here. We'll hand her her citation. Alright. So, you're going to receive a citation. It's a notice to appear. Okay. So, it's technically an arrest however I'm not gonna take you to jail tonight okay I just need for you to sign down at the bottom that you can't do with your cuff there's your ticket and I will remove the handcuffs from you now You're free to go. Don't go back to the movie theater. Alright, so we gave her the uh, citation. It's a notice to appear. Instead of actually taking her to jail, she'll just have to appear. So, we'll head back to the county. And see what else we can get into. 1637, you can show me clear off that. I'll be code 4108 and available. Alright, so we're back out here in the county. Uh, I fixed a time since it wasn't supposed to switch to night time. And we'll see what else happens out here. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys the... Uh, so I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see the uh, INI &I settings. If I can remember what key that was. Uh, nope, not that one. There we go. It's the scroll lock key. So here are my settings. I know some of you, a lot of you guys have been wanting to see this. So you can pause it if you want. But these are the settings. And I'm using the dark and realistic INI. Or reshade. So I'll give you guys a moment to look at that. You can just pause the screen if you'd like. i to turn that back off. There we go. All right. So, hopefully that guy, hopefully that will help you with uh, trying to get your game to look like mine. Also, note that I have a really powerful computer with a Attention, all units. with a Assault GTX with a 1080 weapon. Ti. Grape seed. 1637, you can show me in real. All right, so we got a person with a knife. Headed to a call with a person with a knife right now. Sixteen thirty seven, right? we're about a half mile out. Sixteen 
16th century. We're 23 in the area. We'll be searching for this individual. Yeah, but they have eyes on an uh, individual standing here. 1637 radio. I gotta get. Eh, 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 eh. Drop it, drop it, drop the knife, dude. 1637 radio. Shot fired by the police. Drop the fucking knife, dude. Drop the knife. Sixteen thirty seven radio shots fired by the police. Shots fired by the police. Oh, fuck me. Sixteen thirty seven radio, more shots fired by the police. More shots fired by the police. Be advised, I have two suspects down. I need fire and EMS out here immediately. Ambulance. Backup needed. In Grapeseed. Go ahead and roll me a few Backup additional required. units, too. In Grapeseed. Backup needed. In Grapeseed. We get traffic stopped as well. Copy, dispatch. We'll assist. So this is the guy, this guy had the knife, and then this guy decided he wanted to play Billy Badass, even though he wasn't involved in anything. Come on, people, let's do it. Covering fire! This, this one's gonna be tough. Alright, let's put the pistol up. You got my six? Thank you. City of Saints? <laughs> More like City of Death. Mom's right. I should move to Vice City. Hey, there's another one up there. No? Okay. Uh, the ambulance and fire truck skins are by Echo Wolf. At least I think that's his name. I'll link him in the description. <laughs> I don't understand the AI's logic with driving. I really don't. Uh, I guess since he's done. Alright, so let's search the body. See if we can find some ID on it. Why does she have a drum mag on an AR? <laughs> okay. Cigarette paper with white powder rolled in. Pu with white powder. Powder rolled in. I think that's supposed to be powder. Uh, carabiner with multiple keys, a condom, and an Alcoholics Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous coin. Okay, so possibly under the influence of something. Alexander Javardia was his name. Let's see if we can get an ID off the guy over here. If he's even still there. And he is. Not really sure why he decided to start shooting. A Glock 20 with a scratch zero number. Okay, well. So he had a stolen firearm on him. Don Vito. So we'll go back to the truck and run Don Vito. That off that deputy should stay there with him now. Which 
try to figure out who some of these guys are. Don Vito. Uh, Don Vito has an outstanding warrant. Arrest warrant for possession of a firearm and ammunition in violation of probation. Of domestic violence probation. So, well, he won't need to worry about that warrant. Alexander Gardova also has an arrest warrant for criminal trespassing on government property. So, he also will not have to worry about that. So. Alright, let's get the corner out here. To get the bodies and then we'll clear off here. Backup required in grape seed. I should replace the coroner uh, truck with an actual coroner vehicle. That's pretty cool. It opens the back doors. So we're going to move this motorcycle out of the way. I don't know whose motorcycle it is, but we don't need it. You're not going to go get that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess they're not going to get that body up there, so I will do release all of them, let them go. Appreciate it, guys. And we'll clear the scene. 1637, you can show me clear off that. I'll be code 4 and 10 8. Alright. And my back bumper is hanging off. <laughs> so we'll go get the car fixed. And we'll see what else we can get into. So we're kind of just sitting here. Radar gun, that fugitive right there, 78. So the black fugitive up there. Alright, so the speed limit is uh, 65. That black fugitive was doing 78. If I can catch up with it. Sixteen thirty seven ready. You show me out uh, traffic. Northbound US Route thirteen. It's gonna be on a black fugitive. Driver, pull over to the right further. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and run their plate and stuff now. why it does that. Target license plate. Zero eight. Jerome Zebra Stewart. Zebra Sam eight six three. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Ten four. All right. We'll put that away. See what's going on. Hey. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm Deputy Guards of Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you today is for your speed, okay? 
Yes, sir. Where is that at in here? Uh, excessively over. Yep. Speed limit is 65. O'clock to uh, 78. You're late for an appointment. Okay. No big deal. Do you have your driver's license, registration, wow. proof of insurance? Oh, you don't have to get out. I just need your license. Hey, you. You got your ID? Thank you, sir. Thanks. All right, Jerome. Since you're uh, out of your car, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, let's just go ahead and walk back. Since you're already out, let's walk back here so we don't get hit by traffic. We'll walk over here to the other side of my truck so we don't get hit by nothing since you're already out of the car. All right. All right, man. So... The reason I stopped you, like I said, was for your speed. I clocked you at 78 and a 65, okay? That's all there That's all there was to it. So if you will for me, um, just uh, sit right here, and I'll be right back with you. I wonder if I can put him into the front seat. Let's just walk over here. You're not under arrest, man. It's just a simple speeding ticket. Put into vehicle front seat. All right, so just go ahead and have a seat in the front for me. We'll get this taken care of. Hey. All right, so you do understand why I pulled you over, right? Yes, sir, for speeding. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you were speeding, man. <laughs> All right, also, you have an expired driver's license. Are you aware of that? Uh, more than likely. Your license has been expired for almost a year, man. I see you got the window tent taken care of. That's nice. I like that. Alright, so he was doing 10 to 14 over. And... Document. Expired license greater than 30 days. Submit citations. Okay. All right, man. Just sit tight. I'll walk over there and get you out. We'll get this taken care of. Go ahead and hop out for me. No, I hate the way it does that. I gotta figure out what key is causing that. I mean, I know what key it is, but what mod it is. All right, man. So you're gonna receive two citation day. One's gonna be for your speed, 10 to 14 over the posted limit. You're gonna get another one for your uh, driving on expired license, okay? It's been over a year, man. You gotta get that taken care of, okay? So here are your citations. It's not an admission of guilt, just a promise to appear. Take care of it on before the court date mentioned above. If you have any questions on the back of the citations, there's a number that you can call, okay? Yes. Yes, sir. You're free to go, man. Yep. So they get back in my car. You're free to go. Hopefully he'll go back to his car. Guess not. grab him. Yeah, man. No, you're free to go, dude. Uh, 
Hey, you're free to go, man. All right. No. Nope. Off you go. No. No. Damn degenerate. No. There you go. All right. There we go. So he got his citations. It's a little rough learning the keys, but he got his citations. So there we go. So I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, no. Let's check the court cases that I almost forgot. <laughs> like usual. I, I did delete them. So we've got Jessica Smith and Jerome Stewart. Uh, Jessica Smith, she's the one that we uh, arrested via citation at the movie theater. Uh, they actually found her not guilty. No charges. So it looks like what she was saying at the movie theater was true. Uh, she said that she was allowed to be there as long as she wasn't in the way. So maybe that security guard was just playing the... Uh, I'm going to do what I want because I'm a security guard role. So that's nice to see that there were no guilty or she's not guilty and no charges. So good for her on that. That's nice. Uh, Jerome Stewart. Uh, he was the one speeding 10 to 14 over and expired license. Uh, he was fined $69 for speeding and his, his license was a $240 fine. So very nice. Very nice. I don't know how to delete them now, so. Not in here, so. But anyway, very nice. So, anyways, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget that you guys are the best. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.